Welcome back. This is a Zmodo tutorial on remote networking for our DVRs. You should have already completed our tutorial on local network setup before starting this one. The first step is to set up port forwarding on your router. Like last time, you'll need to run ipconfig to find your router's IP address. Open up run by hitting window and R. Type cmd, then type ipconfig, and hit enter. Look for the default gateway. This will be your router's address. Next, you will open up your web browser and navigate to this address. Once there, it will prompt you for username and password. Go ahead and type that in. For our example, we are using a Linksys router, which has admin as a default user and password. Once you're logged in, navigate to where it says Applications and Gaming. Follow the steps to forward ports 80 and 9000. In the IP address, we use 100 as the example, but you will need to fill it with the last three digits you choose in the previous tutorial. Also, if you would like to remotely view your DVR with a smartphone, you will also need the forward port 9001. We will briefly go over how to get to port forwarding on some other common routers. For Belkin, navigate to virtual servers under firewall on the left hand side. From here you can add the ports in a similar manner to the Linksys. For D-Link, navigate to the advanced tab and virtual server on the left hand side. From here, be sure to select TCP, use the same ports for the private and public, and schedule it always. And for Netgear, navigate to services under content filtering on the left hand side. From here, you can port forward in a similar manner to the Linksys. Now we need to check if the port forwarding settings worked. Open your browser and navigate to www.ugetsignal.com and select port forwarding tester. From here, you can check ports 80, 9000, and 9001. We change the remote address to demonstrate working port forwarding. You will want to keep your address the same as the displayed external address at the top of the page. We will most likely have to set up a dynamic DNS account since a static IP is a premium feature that most ISPs charge for. To do so, we will navigate to www.dvrdns.org. Once there, you will sign up for a free account. Choose your username and hit add. Scroll to the bottom, select DVR as a usage and hit add to cart. Once there, you can check out and register that name for free. Lastly, we need to download the Dynamic DNS Updater Client onto a computer on your network so that it can constantly update your account with the latest IP address. Open your browser and navigate to www.dyndns.org slash support slash clients and download the client onto your computer. Log in with your account info and it will now update your client every time your IP changes. Now you should be able to remotely access your DVR from any web browser in the world, navigating it to your account.dvr.dns.org.